Hey, what's up guys? I'm Harry Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4, as we are playing as the French Commune. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is we're going to get another line of attack cruisers building. Really want to focus on getting these cruisers out. Uh, obviously, it's going to take a while to, to get them built, so let's, let's build as many as we can. Uh, we do need to upgrade one thing on these, and that is the anti-air. And I, I want to say that's it. Yeah, I think that's all we got to upgrade. So let's go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and build the next line of attack cruisers. I guess we'll keep them together here. Uh, so we'll get 10 dockyards into those as soon as we finish up with these submarines. We're only going to build one more of these, and then we'll just have one line of submarines with just three dockyards going to those. Because, uh, frankly, we have plenty of submarines. Uh, so I don't think we really need any more. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, continue the invasion of China. Last episode made a lot of progress, I feel. Yeah, it wasn't too, wasn't too shabby. I mean, a lot of the progress, so I did forget to do this. Uh, we did have one of our uh, operatives captured here. I'm not sure which guy that was. Oh, I must have looked at that wrong. It seems like we're the ones who captured somebody rather than having one of our agents captured. Uh, but it remind me that I wanted to start an operation here in Japan. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. Uh, we have two of our operatives that are just sitting around not doing anything because one had to rescue the other. I think that was in the United States. Now one thing I didn't learn until recently is that if you do the collaboration government, then it does make it easier to capitulate a country. Uh, it does affect their capitulation rate, they capitulate faster. So when you're attacking certain countries, that is beneficial to do. However, with Japan, they're typically very easy to conquer once you get onto their home islands. I almost never have any issues conquer them once I land. It's usually like landing that's the difficult part. Once you're here, it's very easy to cut off tons of troops and destroy them just because, you know, it's, it's just the nature of it being an island. It's the same thing with peninsulas like Italy. Uh, anywhere we have a lot of coastline, it's very easy to cut the AI off of uh, any supply. So I'm not too worried about it once we land. And, and also, if they capitulate faster, then that's less victory points we take, less territory we take, and thus we have less points uh, when it comes to war participation. So I don't actually want to reduce... Uh, their, uh, you know, rate of, of capitulation. I want them to, to take longer, essentially. I want to have to conquer as much as possible. So we're not going to do that with them, but if we went to war with the Americans, then that would make sense. Uh, because they take forever to capitulate, and they can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, they're such a big country, uh, the United States. So I feel like we might do it against the Americans, but not against the Japanese. Uh, instead, we're going to infiltrate their navy and try and steal some naval techs, since obviously we're quite behind here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put the two agents that aren't doing anything right now. And we'll have to pull an agent from somewhere else for the uh, mission to steal a tech. All right, so let's go ahead and fire that off and and then we'll try and steal some of their technologies. Uh, let's keep this guy here. I'm not sure why he's leaving. Yeah, we don't want to get cut off over here. So we'll keep him here. I mean, there is this huge front up here that isn't being, uh, you know, defended. So maybe that's what he's attempting to do. I'm really surprised the Japanese haven't pulled up or pulled off of more troops from the, the north and brought them down here. We've seen them bring some, obviously, Got but uh, yeah, I'm not sure why these guys kind of feel like they have to go that way. Uh, I, I think it's just because this whole uh, border is not defended at all. Uh, I think we failed in this attack as well. All right, well, what we'll do is we'll have this guy go here and he'll do the attack. Let's just kind of thicken it up here so they can't easily rescue those troops. Uh, no, that's not the way we want them to do it. This way. Because, yeah, he just doesn't have the organization to defeat that unit right now. So we'll attack him with this infantry unit. Uh, also, it's into the hills, too. Or it's into the mountains, excuse me. So that's one reason we're having some difficulty, too. It and it looks like we're going to fail this here. Damn. I don't think this guy's going to get here in time. Let me just take a look. It's three days and uh, about three and a half days. Yeah, I don't think we'll get there in time. Maybe. Yeah, we might be able to attack him. And it looks like the Soviets just attacked him. So there we go. So that worked out for us. So Venezuela is still attempting to get that war goal on us. We need to keep that in mind that they could be increasing the size of the war. I thought oh, this guy's going to go up around this way here. Just going to grab these victory points. We want, really want to get the Chinese to capitulate. That'll get rid of all their units here and all this back territory would fall to us. And likely result in all these Japanese troops being cut off from supply. Some of our land lease is, of course, going to get canceled here, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, let's just go down this way now. I think we're getting a little too far up here. 
I would still take a few of these uh, provinces here, but we do need to be careful that we don't get all our tanks cut off in supply. And this guy was supposed to stay here, and he did not, so now we gotta create a, a front. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Uh, stay here. And we're gonna put this guy over here too. Somebody can get that, that unit wiped out. And now the uh, front is, is very long. And we're going to see a lot of issues from that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring more troops over here to China. So we don't want any of these guys that are still training to come over here. But let's go ahead and put these guys into this army under Charles de Gaulle. And then we can extend the amount of territory they're currently covering. Uh, let's see if we can't get behind these guys here. We'll tank over this way. Uh, this guy could also come over here and try and get behind these troops. So yeah, we might be able to uh, cut all all these guys off with just this this move here. Uh, we are failing this attack, so let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, these guys were supposed to all be pulled out. Apparently I did not pull them all out. Alright, well we'll keep them in there for now. Since we don't have anybody else to, to hold this territory. Let's go ahead and push forward here if we can. Doesn't look like that's going to work. Let me see if I support with this guy. I think we need to, to wait a little bit. Uh, we're also having some supply issues over here as well. Uh, let's go and advance over here. And we'll just have this guy take this province. Uh, we are winning there. That is across the river. It's probably not the best attack there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one province here. It looks like the Soviets are already doing it. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get it there first. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy attack here. Try and get that unit destroyed. And let's go and see what our tanks are doing. So they're still advancing on this way. He's still coming over here, grabbing all this territory. All right, excellent. I don't think we have any air bases over here yet, so we're actually not uh, patrolling this region. So now that we have an air base, let's go ahead and move some planes over there. Probably the ones that are furthest behind here. And hopefully that'll give us control of this region once we get over there. But yeah, you can see that the Japanese are now starting to defend all this territory. And if they wanted to, they could cause us some serious issues here. Cut off a ton of troops. Uh, let's go and put these guys onto this border now. Since this has been dealt with. And uh, also these guys. Just get rid of these fronts here. Since that's going to get taken here momentarily. Let's go and advance up this way. And this way. Anywhere where there's any territory that uh, is undefended, we'll try and, we'll try and push forward. Uh, let's bring these tanks over here, and I'm going to attempt to cut off all these troops here. We have this this tank unit advancing this way into the mountains against the units, but uh, he's really weak from taking the rails to get down here, so we'll keep him going. All right, so we have advanced over here. Let's go ahead and attempt to take... Let's just take this province here. Uh, we also won here, and we're still pushing forward here. So just need to take that province there, and we'll have all these units cut off. Everybody's canceling lend lease. I suppose that probably means that we're no longer short on whatever equipment they were giving us. Uh, let's go this way. And then we're going to attempt to get a win there. Let's see if that'll work out for us. But yeah, the fronts are absolutely massive. I'm going to cause some serious issues. So we need to get some of this taken care of. Uh, so he's going over this way. Uh, he's already advancing here. So let's go and take this one. And just keep on pushing the front forward. All these units here are going to be cut off momentarily. So let's go ahead and start wiping them out. Now. That uh, won't help here. And we'll even push forward with this guy. Ten cross rivers there, but I think it's alright. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look see what we did against the Japanese Navy. We sunk some convoys throughout here. Remember, these are, these are all troop convoys. Uh, so these are not dissipating here. Again, I'm not entirely sure where the troop convoys were going. The only thing I could think of is that they were coming over to South Africa. To come over here and help defend that territory. Like, where else would they be going over here? Other than South Africa. And if they're doing naval invasions, but they're not. Uh, they might be doing them over here, but they're not doing them in this area. Uh, because then we'd have notifications and we'd see that. That is not the case. I'm not entirely sure where they're going. It's got to be South Africa. Uh, sunk some Japanese submarines here. Four total submarines. All right, so let's try and get the win. Let's see how we should do this. I guess we'll go here. I know this is into the mountains, but here's into the mountains too. 
So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go and attack this way. And oh, this guy's going here, so let's just let him go. And then we'll take the province behind him. Uh, let's go and grab this one as well. I'll cut off all these troops here. Yeah, the front line is looking strange. So we gotta wait for this guy to leave here. Uh, so let's go and advance this way. We clearly lost that battle, so we'll come through this direction here. Uh, also, we've got a uh, few notifications up here to be aware of. Uh, we can do war propaganda. We don't need to. War support is very high. So let's go and say we don't need to be made aware of any of these. And we, we have some political power, but I'm not entirely sure what we'd use that for besides improving worker conditions. You know, you know, doing that again for another hundred political power, if that's an option. I suppose we could just go on some, uh, go ahead and get some military factories. Yeah, I guess we'll do some military factories here. Just going to get uh, this one. And then let's go and get these civilian factories building something. Uh, I suppose we should probably work on radar coverage. I'm hesitant to do it here, considering the fact that uh, we might lose this territory. But I do want coverage all through this area. So let's go ahead and build it. And uh, let's hope we don't, don't lose control there. Uh, as far as like infrastructure, rails, do we need to do anything here? A lot of this is going by port. Where is their rail system? So it's not really connected along the the coast here. So it might be best to connect everything so that everything doesn't have to go by sea. But you know what? I, I suppose they're not really sinking our convoys. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just leave it as is. Uh, if we start to see some major issues with the supply, we'll try and fix it. I suppose this is a problem, uh, but that's only going to get fixed by building a supply hub, which again will take forever, and, and by the time we, we get it done, we won't need it anymore. That's what I often see uh, be the case, is I, I just don't need them by the time I finish uh, building them. I suppose we'll build some dockyards. Yeah, we didn't have enough for those full lines there. So let's go and build a couple dockyards here. Let me get two over this way, and then just more military factories. Always use more of those. Start building these 60% locations. All right, excellent. So now just con continue the advance, pushing forward here, waiting for this guy to leave. This will cut off all these troops. This will be big for us. Yeah, he'll be gone less than a day here, and we'll advance this way. I suppose once he's done, you'll want him to go over here next. Just kind of thicken this up. And these guys are going like way far north, aren't they? All right, we're gonna actually need them here. Let me see if I can keep them here. So we can get these units destroyed. And now that he's gone, let's go and take this territory and this one. He'll sweep down here and then grab that one. And... Did he already defeat this unit? Looks like he already defeated him. Okay, awesome. Uh, still waiting for this tank to get down there. I'm surprised they, they have some heavier tanks here. Uh, it's a medium tank. We also have some military factories I didn't assign, so let's go and take care of that. Uh, again, we don't really need anything right now. I think we're pretty much good. I suppose the artillery, we could use some more into the artillery line. Yeah, we'll put it into artillery. Uh, also, I did not put more planes out there to train, so we'll do that as well here in a minute. Uh, another five factories in there. And let's go ahead and get some planes training. Uh, we actually have more planes we could bring uh, over to China. I suppose we'll do that in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and get some close air support over here. Let them train up. And probably some fighters as well. I assume we can, we can put a fire line out there. Yeah, let's go ahead and put another 200 here to train up. And we'll see if we have any naval bombers for training. Or at least enough to form one wing here. Yeah, that's enough. Alright, so we'll get them training as well. And then let's go ahead and move some of these planes over to China. Uh, we, we do control this this uh, air zone here, but we can always use more planes. Uh, so let's go and bring some fighters over here. Put on the air superiority. And maybe bring... I guess these are all filled up. All these air bases are really tiny. So suppose you could bring some here. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring two more air wings over here then. Right, excellent. Just make sure we control the skies. I don't even know if they're attempting to contend with us in either of these zones. Looks like they got a hundred support planes here. That's about it. 
So I'm not entirely sure where they have all their planes. Probably up here in the north. Uh, looks like there's a lot more green up here than there was before. Uh, before we were losing the majority of those battles. That's no longer the case. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys destroyed. I don't really want to attack across a river to do it. Uh, it's not the best way to go about doing it. Um, let's do it this way. Have this guy destroy that unit. Uh, he'll advance over here. Uh, I'm still trying to get to that province. So I'm going to take these two. Yeah, so he'll destroy that unit, and uh, this guy here would come over this way and try and help out against these guys here. Alright, excellent. So yeah, looking pretty good here. We're about to get a ton of units cut off. Here's, uh, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six total units cut off uh, just in this little bubble that we've created, little pocket. So yeah, let's go ahead and start working on them. Although the units that we have here are incredibly weak. Let me make sure these are all assigned to this front here. Yeah, you might need to give it a little bit of time. Make sure that this guy stays here as well. Oh, nope. Let's bring him over here. So we can try and get these units destroyed. Yeah, we actually have a lot of dudes over here. Uh, so these guys are now cut off as well. So let's go ahead and try advancing here. Try and get these units wiped out. Alright, looking pretty good. So yeah, a lot of pockets right now that need to get dealt with. Here's a, another one, now that we've gotten these guys cut off. So let's go and work on, see where we want to attack, where the best location to attack would be. We're already attacking there, we've already won here as well. This is going to be tough fighting in the mountains, but we'll do the attack. Let's see if we can have some success there. Uh, over here, we've taken this province. We could probably successfully get across the river here. But yeah, let's just attempt to instead get behind these guys. And hope we don't get cut off. Let's move a unit over here. Uh, but really, there's there's so many areas that can cut us off. So let's hope those Soviets will stay in that one province and defend our dudes. Alright, so let's go ahead and go... Let's go up this way. Uh, these tanks here. Let's just attack right here. I'm going to cut off that unit. we got to start wiping some of these pockets out, though. So this guy will help out with that. And let's go and attack here. This unit, you can see his strength is low. So we'll attempt that attack, see if we can be successful. But yeah, gotta start taking out some of these pockets. Also, we may have some difficulty getting across the river here. There's there's actually some troops here to stop us. Uh, let's go this way, and we'll just kind of push down. Deal with some of those units on the, on the border. Uh, so where did the unit go? Okay, he's just taking his time to get over here. We might not even need to get over there and, and help out now that... Yeah, now that I'm looking at this. I, I suppose we'll help out and finish the battle. But we will not help in the attack, because I assume one of these other units will get there first. Uh, so let's just go ahead and put them somewhere over here. Kind of help out. And let's go and attack these guys. Go ahead and support this attack as well. And let's push forward here. Let's grab this one. Need to get the victory here. So let's tank this guy and have him attack over there. Get that tank wiped out. Uh, we can go ahead and attack over here as well. Uh, this guy will go over, back over to this front. I don't think he's needed here. Uh, let's keep this one here. Yeah, these guys are not looking good, looking pretty weak. That's what we want to see. Uh, so let's take one of these units and have him attack up that way, and then the weaker one will attack down here. I'm just trying to get all these troops wiped out. And this guy here, we're just going to leave him there for now. Yeah, he moved. I wanted him to attack down this way. He must have already lost that battle. I assume that's what happened. Uh, let's have this guy go up this way. He'll attack over here. So yeah, just got to get some of these pockets dealt with, especially these, these larger ones here. Uh, so let's go and attack with these three. And... Also attack right here. Get that unit wiped out. Yeah, looking pretty good. We've also taken that victory point. Let's go and take this airbase so they won't have the support of their planes here. Let's looking for other areas where we can advance. We'll attack here. And over here. I uh, might need to make sure he's assigned to this front line. And so we got one unit attacking here. Let's have this guy go across the river. And go ahead and cut this guy off. Actually, let's go this way, up here, and then he'll grab all this territory. That'll cut that unit off. We'll do it like that. 
And I guess we'll throw another unit in here to help out, make sure that he gets destroyed. And let's go ahead and sweep across this way. And he'll go over there and help out as well. And we did finish up our national focus. Excellent. So that gained some cores in North Africa. So that'll get us some more manpower. I guess we'll get some more factories as well in those territories. Get access to them. Could go for the non-core manpower now. I suppose we eventually do want to go for that. I feel like right now, though, manpower is not in too bad of a position. And we still haven't gone down these routes yet. So I think it's about time. Let's go for the naval rearmament first. Uh, we also have some military factories. Probably took these from the, the Chinese. So we're going to put them into... We really don't need anything. So suppose we'll just put these into the naval bombers. And we'll take a look and see what we've done over here. We sunk uh, four convoys there. And I'm wondering how the uh, the island war is going between the Americans and the Japanese. There's been some exchanges of, of territory, but for the most part, there hasn't been a lot of uh, changes here. All right, so we got these uh, provinces over here all defending, just making sure that every port is protected. I, I don't really think that the uh, Japanese are in any position to be doing naval invasions, though. Uh, they are losing tons of troops over here in China. Uh, let's go and support this. Try and get this done a little bit quicker. Yeah, they, they should be advancing right now. It's really foolish that they're not. Uh, they should be pushing forward. Let's go in and go after the hunt and destroy. Air support mission efficiency plus 20%. Yeah, they really should be advancing their front right now. Uh, for whatever reason, they're, they're not. So they're just sitting there passively. All right, so this guy is, is messed up because he's trying to retreat to a location that he can't retreat to. All right, so just going to get that one unit destroyed there. Uh, let's go and make sure this guy comes over to this front here. He's defending. I was going to have him push forward. Uh, let's see if he can't win here since he's already doing an attack. Uh, this guy would end up reconnecting this here. I can try and stop him momentarily, but yeah, that's not going to help us in the long run. He will be able to take that location. I don't really know if these two are connected. They're pretty close to being connected. It's hard to say. Still trying to take this location here. Yeah, he's coming over this front, so that's fine. Yeah, we just need to get uh, these guys wiped out. I'm worried about them getting reconnected. Uh, four convoys sunk there. Again, they just keep on pumping troops into the sea. And I'm just looking for where they're going. Because yeah, there's none over here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. That's gotta be. I can't see anywhere else where they could be possibly going. Alright, so we finally wiped out that pocket. Got Took a while. Won. Got it done. Uh, let's go and take this territory here. Got and I guess we're going to attack across here since he just failed in his own attack. I don't think that makes sense. We were defeated here. Uh, we are winning in this location. Need to get this unit wiped out. There's nobody really to do it right now, though. Did we lose here? We did not lose here. All right, excellent. All right, so our attempt to stall his movement here has failed. He is definitely going to take that province. Hmm. Let's go and start the attack here. Basically, we need to have them go all the way up that way. And I guess just like I'm going to have to attack across the river to get rid of that unit. Attention. So we can come over here, try and retake that province. I don't even know if that will actually connect them, though. Uh, so units did get there to stop their movement here. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get Attention. these guys defeated. So we'll attack here, cut these guys off. And maybe we should wait until after they're cut off. Because, yeah, we're not uh, going to win that just yet. It is difficult fighting in this area because there's there's a lot of mountains here. Let's see if we can't win here. Push this unit back, and now they're finally advancing the front. Okay. So it took them a little while. But, yeah, they're, they're starting to take this territory back now. But, yeah, their, their passiveness, the AI... They're just too passive sometimes. Uh, so this will cut this guy off because this here is a lake. So just taking that will cut that unit off. So I'm going to push forward here. And already got somebody going that way. Let's go over here then. Uh, how long until he gets there? Three hours. Okay, I was going to redirect him. But yeah, makes sense to go ahead and let him take that. 
So yeah, I gotta get this guy destroyed. Let's actually come over here with this unit and attack. Let's get that done with. We're pushing forward here, and it looks like they are not connected. All right, excellent. I wasn't too sure if that would result in them being connected or not. Uh, we'll just push forward here. But yeah, they could have been advancing here and taking this province and, and reconnecting themselves. Uh, you can already see the effects of those uh, of that one focus. We've got a lot more manpower now. Uh, somebody needs to wipe out this guy. We'll have him do it. And then, where is he advancing? He's advancing over this way. We're gonna go towards Wuhan. And, yeah, that's right. He's gonna try and cut this one unit off here. And then we'll get him destroyed. Because, yeah, I don't think he should be able to retreat at all. So let's go and start that now. Attacking him right there. We'll advance over here as well. I'm trying to get some troops over this way. I stop them from pushing us any further back now. We'll go ahead and support this attack here. Yeah, they, they could be taking all that territory back. They're deciding to uh, remain quite passive. Uh, let's go and try this attack again. And we'll just try and get behind these troops. See if we can. Uh, well, they got somebody protecting there. Uh, these units here are cut off now. Uh, so this did finish up. We completed it. So let's go and attack here and attack here. And then we'll just support this attack. And we'll see if we can't get some, some victories here. Get those units destroyed. That's yeah, going very, very well. Uh, we'll go and advance over here now. And... Let's go and take these provinces and then we'll wipe out that unit. Uh, is anybody taking this here? Let's make sure that all the rest of them go to this front. Just have this guy take this. And that was this unit. So we gotta redirect him again. Yeah, going pretty well. Uh, we'll go over this way. Now, I don't know where those units we sent, uh, like how long it'll take for them to get here. So we'll take a peek at that real quick. Uh, we got the improved medium howitzer. All right, excellent. Uh, and it's gonna increase our soft attack. It's very helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and get, I guess we're gonna continue down here, get the, the next one. I never forget that we were attempting to get these tanks finished up. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Let's go and recommission those. So I, I believe it was armor that I was trying to add to them. I just didn't have the experience for it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and add some more armor in here. I guess we'll just keep on putting it in until we get to the, the max speed, 12 kilometers there. Uh, so they'll be a little bit better here. Uh, they'll have 4.9 extra armor and the... Uh, 6.2 extra breakthrough, and that's much higher than the other tanks, too, uh, that we currently are building. So, yeah, we should have gotten this done as soon as we had the experience for it. So let's go ahead and decommission these ones. And uh, we're also going to have to build a design for the self-propelled artillery. We haven't done that yet. So let's go to get the new tanks building. And let's also, uh, as I think we should have the experience here, uh, let's go ahead and also build a, a light self-propelled artillery version of, of these here. I was going to create a new model here, and this is going to be artillery. I guess we got to put the gun on there first. Uh, so let's go to get the close support gun on there, and then switch them over to artillery. And I don't know if there's anything that we want to adjust here. I got the the breakthrough, so we'll probably keep that on there. Yeah, I feel like this is probably fine. I don't think there's really much else we want to. Uh, change here. Let's kind of take a look real quick. Reliability is in a fine spot, I feel. Yeah, you want the high breakthrough. That's helpful. You also want the soft attack, though. Yeah, I think this is this is probably fine. We lost a little bit of speed, so you have to increase the engines by just a little bit here. Yeah, soft attack is going to go up by 10.9. We are losing a bit of heart attack. Yeah, you're losing some stuff here. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and save that. And uh, we need names for all these as well. Uh, so let's go and save that, and then we'll go ahead and decommission these ones, and then get the new ones out there. All right, excellent. So we'll have some some better tanks, some better light self-propelled artillery. Uh, also, something else is outdated. Is that the ship? Yeah, that's the ship. So that's not a problem. Uh, but let's go and put these military factories probably into those. Yeah, to get all these updated. Remember, we're still currently getting the next. Uh, heavy tank technology and so once we have that we'll we'll get those designed 
All right, so he just decided to stay there. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, these guys are now all retreating, so let's go ahead and take them, have them attack across this way. Uh, we'll just have to attack. We'll have to attack across for here, clearly. It's fine. Uh, let's have this guy just come over to this front. And I guess we'll go here. Yeah, I mean, there's really no way... Hmm. Frankly, we just don't have enough troops over here, honestly. And this guy was actually defeated. Was it this guy moving here? Maybe. Uh, so that'll reconnect these troops here. So let's go and go up here and, and see if we can't get this province uh, defended. Probably not, though. I don't think we'll get there in time. Now we'll try and get these units here destroyed. Uh, that's a total of five units once they retreat over there. And let's go and wipe out this guy here. And let's go ahead and push forward. Keep on pushing forward here. Taking territory. Uh, we'll then grab this province now. And see if we can't get behind the troops there. And clearly I accidentally stuck uh, the tank here. Yeah, we stuck the tank guy over here. So let's go and fix that. And should be able to get a win here. This guy is leaving. But yeah, we're not going to wait. We're just going to attack there. Uh, let's go up here and up here. It'll cut off all these units. Uh, so we'll start the attack here. Start getting those units pushed back. And let's go and go up here as well. We'll see if we can't get behind this unit here. Uh, it's not really the best way to uh, get behind a unit, I suppose. Yeah, it's kind of a silly way. This is far too many provinces we got to take. It's fine. We'll just leave it as is for now. All right, let's go and advance into these undefended territories here. Uh, I did want to take a look and see how long before the rest of these troops get here. Um, they're going by rails. Of course they are. Of course they are. All right, I should have micromanaged them coming over here, guys. That was my bad. I forgot that they don't work properly. Yeah, they're going to go all the way by rail. And keep in mind, they're doing all this to avoid going to the sea, but they're going to get in the port and then go in the sea here in zones we don't control, rather than going through all these zones here that we do control. Yeah, that's, that's how the AI operates now, guys. It's, it's really silly. Uh, so let's go and have all of these troops move over to here. Um, oh, well, some of them are already further than I thought they were. Okay, so it's just this guy up over here then. So these ones here, okay. let's have them go down to uh, this port, I suppose. So they'll come down to this port, and then we'll have them come over here, and they'll enter into this port. And it's just this guy here. I suppose we could have him selected as well. Have him come over here. Oh lord. Alright, so I gotta fix this. I was holding shift, but uh, I don't know, didn't work. Alright, let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, clearly I wasn't holding shift or it would have worked, right? Uh, so we still got another Japanese submarine over here. Uh, looks like they've stopped putting convoys in the sea because we're not really sinking anymore. So they finally figured out that they don't control those sea lanes. Uh, let's go ahead and go, I guess we'll go over this way. Try and connect with these troops up this way. Yeah, they're just being so passive. Uh, they did reconnect here, unfortunately, so that's kind of a shame. There's no reason to continue that then. Let's go over this way. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, we'll come up over here next. But yeah, we lost that one province there. But maybe we'll get another unit cut off. So we should be able to get this guy here destroyed. Uh, this unit, let's go ahead and have him attack up here. I would go around this way, but we don't have any units to, to connect with them there. Uh, let's go and get that unit wiped out. A lot of units over here that are currently cut off, so let's try and get them destroyed. Let's support this attack. And frankly, we just need more units over here. Let's take one of these guys, bring him over here, and let's go and advance the front over this way. So yeah, lots of pockets that gotta get dealt with. We've already advanced over here. All right, excellent. Uh, let's see if we can't get here before this unit does. Uh, nine hours, he'll get there in uh, 11 hours, so pretty close. But not quite enough. Uh, but looks like this guy can probably stop them, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's go this way. And then we'll attack over here. He's gonna go this way. And then he'll attack this way. All right, so these guys are now all cut off in supplies, so let's go and start advancing. 
these units destroyed. Yeah, we'll go over here. Just make sure they don't break out here. Alright, so he's attacking there. Let's go ahead and have this unit help out. Yeah, looking pretty good over here. Alright, so that pocket's been dealt with. Still got these two over here to take care of. Uh, let's go and get behind these units here. And just keep on pushing forward into this undefended territory. And uh, we did get the small caliber semi armor piercing shells. So just giving us some passive bonuses for our ships. Uh, we'll continue and get continue to get these passive bonuses since it took us so long for us to start working on these. So we are very behind. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the. I guess we'll do this one next. Uh, just trying to improve those light cruisers that we're we're currently building. So yeah, we'll try and sweep up this way. I don't know if we'll be able to get this defended, though, before they break out here. Uh, looks like it's going to take them a long time. Uh, let's take a look at the air zone situation. All right, so we do control all the skies here in China. Excellent. So no worries there. And I'm not entirely sure why this guy went this way to come up here. That's strange. All right, so he's going to take this province here, and then we'll want to attack that guy. We'll have to wait, because he already jumped on the rails. Alright, just keep on pushing forward here. Uh, China takes a long time to get them to capitulate. Almost got this last unit here destroyed. Excellent. So it looks like they're bringing some units down this way. Uh, that'll let us easily cut those guys off, right. so we'll let them go that way. Let's have him take these uh, this territory here. Then we just need to get a win somewhere around here. I guess we can wait until he leaves. When's he leave? Just a couple hours here. Go and take that province and that'll cut these guys off here. Yeah, just let them go all the way down here. Though they could cut us off, that's a, a risk. But once we take this here, that frees up a ton of units. Uh, in fact, we'll probably go ahead and stretch the borders out here. Just a little bit. And they're also getting more units coming over here as well. Alright, so what can we do to get these uh, troops here finished up? Wiped out. Yeah, let's go and attack with both of those units there. Uh, let's go and attack here as well with both of these guys. And somebody else will have to take care of that since he's already pushing forward. Uh, let's go and push forward with this guy too. And let's go and try and get the, the units here completely wiped out. So we'll go here and here. Alright, so that looks like it should be a victory. Let's go here and attack from the the north and let's go and advance the front this way all right so he'll get there to stop them from advancing here yeah looking pretty solid uh, so did we already win here yeah, it looks like we already won there all right excellent and we are entering into September 1942 yeah you could easily cut this guy off here uh, but yeah, let's go and take this one first. Uh, you can see that these units are moving super slow due to lack of supply here. Uh, getting behind these guys could be a problem. Oh, never mind. You need to take this. That'll get behind that guy. Uh, as far as attacking here, we'll see. Yeah, it looks like we would win there as well. Uh, somebody's already taken that. We don't need to have both of these guys going here. Let's see who gets there first. One day in 14 hours, 21 hours, so we'll have him do it. Uh, and then he can just advance over this way. Yeah, getting this all cleared up, all these little pockets, all around the same time. Uh, let's go and attack here now. We'll help out. And yeah, doing pretty good there. And let's go and take this province. Uh, he's already pushing forward there. Excellent. Yeah, this, this is uh, going very, very smooth. Uh, so these guys are not actually cut off here. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to take that province first. We can go and let this guy leave here. He'll be uh, gone in one day and 23 hours. Then we'll attack across the river. Frankly, we need to get some of these units here. It should be coming up this way. Ah, uh, looks like they're all going over here. You got one unit coming up this way. Yeah, we frankly just need more units in the north there. Uh, we also have to be concerned about supply, though. Uh, that area does not have very good supply. All right, let's go advance this way. And he can come up over here. Try and get behind these guys here. Same thing with this unit. Push forward here. 
Again, just it's, it's going very, very smooth. They just don't have the units to, to stop us at this moment. Uh, do we have any troops that are done training? Still getting them trained up. Okay, I was going to say we can throw those over here. If they're done with their training, you know, it takes them so long to get here, and then, you know, obviously we'd have to micromanage that a bit as well. Make sure they can do it as they've been doing it. It's just the, the movement has just been super strange. And it's a recent issue, too. Uh, let's go and push up forward this way. Make sure these guys keep on keep on pushing the, forward, the uh, line forward. And he's trying to take off. Let's go and stop that. Just go forward, man. All right, so he'll get these two units cut off. And it looks like the Soviets got themselves cut off. Yeah, they moved a little bit too quickly up here without enough support. Uh, where are those units? So here's those units. They're about to go around India right now. They've still got a, a ways to go before they get here. Uh, so these units are now cut off. Let's go ahead and get them wiped out. All right, looking good. Uh, and just keep on pushing the front forward. Uh, we'll go ahead and get uh, these two units cut off as well. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and start pushing them back now. So this guy here is cut off, but do we have anybody to wipe him out? I guess you could attack across the river because he's so weak. So I think we should be able to get that done. Let's go ahead and take this province here. Uh, he'll go over this way, and, uh, and it looks like there's going to be like four units here. It's going to be pretty difficult to get a win there. They'll probably break out, honestly. Uh, so here's another pocket. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Right. Instead of going that way, let's just go and grab this province here. And let's get these units destroyed. I'm going to attack over here as well. And let's go and support that. Alright, so looks like those are all green. Excellent. Alright, so he should get over here, and that should help us out on that attack there. Uh, let's go and advance over this way. Yeah, we've made very good uh, progress up here. Uh, let's go and have... Let's see how we want to do this. Uh, reconnect in there. We'll keep him on that attack. Let's go and thicken this up a little bit uh, while this guy will take all this territory here. And he will go up this way. So we're advancing there. Do we have anybody? Yeah, we've already taken both of those. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and have... This guy will stay assigned to this one. He doesn't leave here. And let's have this guy help out. We'll try and get these units destroyed here. This one is now a loss. Okay, so let's try attacking again, but with this guy instead. And we'll keep this one here. Yeah, we frankly just don't have enough units over here at the moment. And this is going to be a failure. Okay, so they actually moved over here. I was thinking that was moving both those units there, but yeah, this is going to be a failure. So we'll just go ahead and stop that. They're not actually cut off on supply yet either. I guess we'll help out here. Pushing that front forward. Looks like our ally would not succeed without our assistance. All right, so we'll get that unit there wiped out. But yeah, they could just attack here, take this province, and I'd reconnect both of these pockets here. Yeah, they're just sitting there passively, uh, not doing anything. We'll help out with that unit. And let's go ahead and have this guy. He will just go here, and then this tank will come up over this way. And this looks like it's going to be a failure, so we'll go and stop it. Just go and push forward here instead. And the Soviets are continuing to advance the front forward, moving up towards Beijing. Looks like they're trying to get some points, too. Uh, so he already won right there. Excellent. Let's go and push uh, forward here on these provinces. Uh, we've won here, and we won here. Not winning right there. So let's actually pull this back here. Re-attack. I send both those units in. And let's see if we can't cut this unit off right here. This guy will get over there in... It's going to be a while. Days. Alright. So this is definitely an area where we could easily be cut off if they weren't being so passive. Uh, we do have military factories and civilian factories. Okay. Um, let's go with more dockyards, I suppose. This is kind of that point, though, that I get to where I start not caring as much about what's going on. 
with the uh, civilian factories. It's not as necessary to worry about. I think we lost control of this and then didn't finish building that. So I'm gonna put that up at the top there. And probably don't need to build that anymore either, but we've already started on it, so we'll let it complete. All right, so let's put it, um, you know, let's, let's change this. Well, I guess it's this 60%. Yeah, we'll put it here and then see what the coverage looks like. So let's go and take that back up at the top there. So I think that's the only thing we need, uh, only radar coverage we need to get built right now. So yeah, let's just go ahead and build more military factories, I suppose. There's not really anything else to get. That yeah, we'll just build in these 60% locations and go ahead and sign these. And I don't even know what to assign stuff to anymore. There's nothing that we really need. I suppose we can build more units too. Uh, let's see if we can't get another tank unit here and get one more. Uh, and then yeah, we'll just add another five of these in here. We have the manpower, we got the equipment. No reason not to. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up this way. He'll advance the front. Let me see how we want to do this. He'll advance this way. He's going to grab these air bases here. Yeah, a lot of units just kind of sitting around not doing anything right now. Uh, he can go and push forward here instead of whatever he was doing. But as we get these pockets wrapped up, it frees up a lot of units to go elsewhere onto the front. Uh, so that one there will be done soon. And now we just got to finish up these troops here. All right, well, let's go and attack across the river. Obviously, it's not the best way to do that. Yeah, that's what we got here, guys. So let's go and just attack with both these units across the river. I, I just don't want to wait for him. Attention. All right, so he's going over this way. Let's have him go over here. And him go up here. Attention. Let's continue filling these out here. And, you know, let's go and attack here. I'm surprised China hasn't capitulated yet. I mean, we don't have Beijing yet. I suppose that'll help. Uh, let's go and grab this one as well. Attention. And yeah, just need to get this here ramped up. Uh, these guys are cut off, so let's go and get them destroyed. And you know what? Let's have this guy come over this way and push the front forward here. Uh, he'll go down here. Attention. And he'll go up this way. And then what we'll do is we'll have this tank in it. He'll cover this territory and get it all taken care of for us just because he's, you know, faster. So he'll get it done quicker. But yeah, this is uh, going just surprisingly easily. Just very smooth. Could have been much, much worse. We're going to take this province here. So we're just sitting around not doing anything. And is there anybody who can do another attack over here? So it looks like there's a unit here. I can't really see him that well. We'll, we'll attack here just to lock that unit down at least temporarily. And I guess we we'll need to send in we'll attack here. Yeah, we're gonna need to send in another unit in order to get that done. And I guess we'll keep him here. Let him sit there, get his organization back up for minutes. All right, let's go and take these two provinces here. And yeah, let's just go and take care of all this. Uh, instead of going that way, let's go this way. Cut off this unit here. Uh, he can go ahead and take... Uh, you know what, actually, let's go this way. Uh, he can go over here, take care of all that for us. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this here taken control of. And make sure all these troops move over to that front there. Right, excellent. Uh, any troops that are currently going over here, we'll put back onto that front. It's not necessary to even have this one here. That tank is going to get that completed very, very soon. Uh, we do have some lend lease offers, so we'll go and accept those. Let's take any lend lease these people want to give us. All right, so almost have that unit there wiped out. Uh, I suppose we'll go ahead and actually support this, get this done a little bit quicker. And yeah, having some trouble here in this area. Looks like it's all green now, though. Uh, let's go and grab that province. So we'll just start pushing the front forward at this point. And we'll see if he can't get behind these guys in time. And let's go and wipe out this tank unit here. And just push forward here. 
All right, so he's already going up this way. Let's actually have him go up here and take Beijing. And then he can do what the other guy was originally assigned to. Let's have him assigned here. And do we want to change this front up a little bit? Let's just have him focus on this area up here. I mean, the fronts are a complete mess right now. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just shocked that we've been able to to advance with such ease, and you really shouldn't have been able to. We just don't have the division numbers to like cover all this territory. Yeah, we should not have had such a success. Now go advance this way. So unfortunately, we do have to end the episode here. We got about right where I said we would. I said we'd get up right to this line, and that's what we got to. So did pretty good there. Sinking some convoys through here. And yeah, some of these are South African convoys. Let me just see what's going on with South Africa. They're still holding out over here. Yeah, uh, despite our allies having all these troops here, they're not doing anything. They're just standing there staring at them. Uh, they could probably finish it up with the numbers they have there, but they're just not. Uh, but yeah, now Japan is... Not uh, in a good place. Yeah, they're, they're losing a lot of territory over here. Uh, so yeah, the invasion of China is going very, very smooth. We're doing it quickly. Uh, let me just take a look at the casualties here in the one episode. Uh, we've taken 15,000 casualties, uh, and you know most of that was by Japan. Uh, but looking at how much we've caused them, 795,000 for less than 15,000. That's insane. Yeah, that is an insane kill-death ratio. We've done absolutely fantastic against Japan. Uh, both in the sea and on land. So, yeah, very surprising how well we've done against them. Uh, we've killed 83,000 for South Africa. Most of those are probably in the sea. Because, yeah, we haven't really fought them at all. Uh, 24,000 here. Uh, 58,000. 21,000. 30, almost 31,000. 70,000. 6,600. And uh, 3,400. So we've done a significant number of these total casualties here. Uh, they've now taken up with 3 million casualties, and they got about maybe 1.4 million man field of manpower remaining. And they'll lose some of that when uh, they capitulate with their 13, or excuse me, they have zero divisions. Uh, there's 13 factories. They don't have any divisions. A lot of these countries don't have any divisions. Okay, so yeah, when you capitulate them, you're not actually reducing their, their total divisions at all. All right, well, it was really just Japan that were fighting 138 divisions, and a lot of those are here. So, what will they have left uh, to defend their homeland? It's hard to say. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.